Hi everybody. Uh, I'm making this video to show you how to uh, make the most of your cargo ships when when you use them on Facebook, on on Farmtown, and uh, how to get them to come back sooner than it would normally take them if you have inactive neighbors uh, that don't play any longer. Uh, see, I used to play this game a long time ago, and I had a whole lot of neighbors, and then I stopped playing for lots of years, and then I came back and started playing again, and I, and I found out most of all my neighbors who I used to play are all inactive, and I, you don't want to remove those because because even though they're inactive, they're still neighbors, and that helps you with other things that have a lot of neighbors. So anyway, um, let, let's. I have three cargo ships. Okay, I'm going to come down here to my toolbox. I'm going to come over here to the left where it shows my seaport manager. I'm going to click on that. Okay, now I've got two ships out. My yellow ship is at Port Fred. Uh, it's been sitting there for one day and ten hours. Uh, and my blue ship is has been sitting there 15 hours and 11 minutes. Okay, if it sits there and no and Fred never comes on to, to send it on, uh, it'll take six days for that ship to come back. Well, I got a little trick that I do uh, so that all of my ships go to the same person at the same time. And see, Fred is an inactive neighbor. So he doesn't play no more. So I made my ship go to his place first. Okay, I have one at home, and it's ready to prepare. You can only prepare a ship. Uh, I think it takes like 20 hours or uh, less. I have to research that. I don't remember. But anyway, uh, once you dispatch one, you have to wait so many hours before you can prepare another one. Well, this one's ready to prepare. This is my orange cargo ship. Okay, so now I'm going to click open. And now I can start preparing. Uh, first, I have to click the blue button here that says prepare ship. Okay, so now I'm going to click it. Okay, I'll have 24 hours to pre prepare this ship uh, and dispatch it. And during that time, you need to prepare as many containers as possible to put on the ship. Okay, well, that's great. Uh, let me hit the... Uh, button. Now I'm going to start my factories ingredients so I'm going to click prepare container. Okay you'll see it takes 17.4 minutes uh, and actually I put this on a timer uh, so that once it's done it will alert me and I know to start the other one. But in the meanwhile once you just once you start preparing a container then you can come over here to this brown tab where it says ship's logbook and click on that and this shows where all of the uh, everything's going to go okay well see the little hand you can drag these hands around and tell it where to go uh, like Port Lily now is, is going to be the number one stop okay well since I really wanted to go to Fred's. Uh, oh no, wait, that's number nine. <laughs> I gotta scroll this back up to the top. Uh, it's going to go to Jane's Super Tools, but I don't want it to go to her place first. I actually want it to go to Fred's because what I because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna once I dispatch this ship and it goes to Fred's, then all of my ships are gonna be at Fred's, and then I'm going to skip him, and then it's gonna go off to my other neighbors. Okay, now I've already set this up to reuse the last itinerary of the ship that I dispatched. I want it to be the exact same itinerary that I did the last time. Uh, so I'm going to click on reuse last itinerary and that's, uh, it's going to replace it. Uh, I'm going to click proceed. Okay, now it says the ship now has the same itinerary used by the latest ship you dispatched and I'm going to click the green check mark. Now you'll notice 
it still has gain up at the top. Well, that's a little glitch. Uh, so they, actually you have to do it again. I, I did this happen on my last ship as well. It didn't really give me the new itinerary. However, I don't know, maybe it did. But maybe if I close this and then I open it back up, maybe the itinerary will have changed. So I'm going to check the ship's logbook. Yep, it's still what it was. So now I'm going to click on reuse last itinerary again and see if it changes now. Okay, it did. I can see. Okay, see Fred's at the top, then Port Christy, then Cindy. Okay, and actually what I did is I kind of put these in alphabetical order. So I kind of remember uh, who it goes to. Now, I do have some other inactive neighbors because I don't have 30 active neighbors. Well, I may have 30 active neighbors, but this always brings up uh, it always has a couple of the inactive neighbors, like Port Michelle is inactive, uh, and uh, Diane here is Port uh, Manady. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, those two I know are inactive. And the one thing, if you have a lot of inactive neighbors that comes up on this itinerary, you never want one to be at the bottom, because I learned that as I skip the ports that I know aren't planned and it gets to the very last one number 30 down here at the bottom if Wanda was an inactive neighbor I, I thought when I first did this that I would be able to skip that port too no you can't skip the last port so that would mean that it's going to sit there for uh, let me, let me go back to one of my other ships here because these are already dispatched and sitting at Fred's waiting. Okay, I'm going to open this up. It says time remaining six days right there. So if I come over here to the ship's logbook, okay, it shows the itinerary, but see, you can't change this order now. It's Once you dispatch the ship, it's set and you can't do anything but skip ports if it's sitting there. Now, if I go down to the bottom, Again, Port Juan is at the bottom, and you notice down here where it says ship returning in six days or after having collected cargo in the remaining 30 ports. Well, if Wanda was inactive, then I would then I would be stuck. My ship would be sitting at her port for, for six hours, I mean six days, before it ever returns. So that's why you always want to set your itinerary up so that the very last neighbor is active and especially one that you know is going to uh, load your ship and not let it sit there forever uh, now Port Bob is my friend who I can also log on to his account uh, look it just changed I gotta get it back down to the bottom again I don't know why it does that okay then Port Terry that's that's my girlfriend uh, I can log on to her account as well so when I know that my ship is at Bob's, I'll jump over to Bob's account, go ahead and load it and send it on its way. Then I know it goes to Terry's, and then then after Terry's, I know it's going to go to Wanda's. And so I can basically load them up on any of those uh, because I can, I can log into their accounts because I help them out sometimes with things. Uh, so... Um, I have a few neighbors who I know uh, can log on to their friends' accounts to help them out, you know, because they always help, help somebody out. So I told my friend here, uh, whoop, I mean, it just changed on its own. It, it, oh, it's going, I don't know why it jumps up to the top. That's something that uh, my computer is causing it to do. Uh, or whatever, but it, it ain't changing nothing. It's just causing it to shoot back up to the top. Well, I know that, and my friend who who runs uh, Vegas's uh, port, she knows that when my, when my ships get to her port, that it's always going to go net to the next port bossy's port, and then she can go over there and load it and send it on its way, and then it's going to go to Julie's. And then after Julie's, it'll go to Roy's. Uh, and I have a, a friend named Amber who lives in the Philippines. 
she don't get on very much so I kind of always put her at the bottom so once it gets to her port uh, I might message her on Facebook and see if she's going to be playing anytime soon and if she uh, isn't I'll just skip her port so it'll go on to Bob's port um, if she is playing comes on well all three of my ships will be at her port at the same time because uh, because of the way I'm doing my itineraries okay so I'm going to close this uh, and it's going to take uh, you know like I said 17 minutes for each container now something that I learned is when I first bought the blue cargo ship it takes an hour to do each of those containers and the orange ship uh, takes about I don't know maybe I, it might have been like half of that time but the yellow ship was which is the most expensive ship uh, I believe it's like a million coins to buy that one well if uh, if you have that ship not only does that one only take 18 minutes to load each each container but it also causes it to be less time for the other ships that you own to to load so it's a good thing to have the yellow ship because that way you can prepare these containers more often or you know faster and get the ships out so even though my ship has been waiting at port uh, at port fred for a whole day already in 10 hours uh it's still worth it to me to, to let it sit there so that all these ships can go to the same port at the same time and that way if I need to message my friend on Facebook and say hey man my my cargo ships are at your port uh, could you jump on farm town real quick and send them on their way uh, you know that way they're, they're sending all three ships at the same time and they're gaining a lot of products by doing that because uh, and, and one thing keep in mind when you're loading these ships it doesn't take anything out of your inventory uh, the the farm town mayor takes care of all that you're just loading it you're collecting uh, products and you're getting coins and and so so are is your neighbor who has who sent the ship to you so the cargo ships could be a really good cool thing to do if people would check them more often and one thing if, if a ship does come to your port you'll see a little red circle uh, right down here by your toolbox Oops, I just clicked it again I need to get off of that okay you'll see a little red circle and usually it has a one in it let you know that hey there's something happening in your toolbox that you need to check on well if there was three ships there there would be a re little red circle and it would have a number three and that's what's going to happen with all my ships on at my neighbor's ports they're going to log on and see their toolbox says three so they're just going to click on that or they're going to highlight that and then it will show the little red circle see that little red circle uh, down by the trophies that has 14 well I never go and look at that but uh, but that's just showing me that there's 14 things there that I haven't seen or dealt with uh, which I don't know anything about that and I don't need to see the trophies I don't care about the trophies but uh, so anyway, hopefully this will help you. Uh, I have other help things on uh, on YouTube uh, to help you out with your quests, and I plan on making a lot more videos for other things that other little tricks that I'm learning as I do this. Uh, and I'll put links on the uh, video description so that you can go to it easily. Uh, and uh, thanks for your time, and I hope this helps you out. Um, if you got any questions uh, post them and I'll try to get back with you on it I don't really look at my comments all that much on YouTube uh, but I'll keep an eye on these because I'm just now starting these help uh, videos uh, for people because as I started playing this again I just found a lot of little different things like uh, loading facilities uh, I, I found a glitch there where where you go through your facilities and you if you don't have the big tools to load them all at once and you have to click each one uh, they, they it says that they all loaded but then if you close it and then reopen it again you'll see that it didn't really load 
So that's a little irritating, and I'm hoping Farm Town will fix that someday because sometimes you've got a lot of facilities to load, and it takes a lot of time. And it, I don't even mess with my facilities anymore. I, I'm going to wait until I, I get more farm cash and buy the bigger tools so I can load them all at once because it's too time consuming to load them all by clicking on the little on on each product then to turn around and find out that you thought you loaded it but you didn't uh, a lot of them still there it don't do it on all the facilities but I've written down the ones that do so when I'm when I make the video for you all it'll uh, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about so uh, y'all have a great day and um, be blessed uh, remember Jesus Christ rules and uh, I love y'all and have a great day. God bless you.